That did not work the first time we did it. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm here to tell you about the Odin Project, which is one of the tutorials uh, that is very similar to uh, the ones mentioned in our previous talk. Uh, but it has a slightly different approach, and I think that approach is worth mentioning, and it's kind of fascinating to me, at least. Um, wait, no, hold on. A um, little background about me. Uh, did computer repair classes in high school, like A+, stuff like that. Um, uh, did like one programming class in college, also Java. Didn't go well. Um, so I just sort of went, mm, command line maybe not for me, for like, a lot. we're not going to do the math about how long that took. Um, so I've been just, you know, you know, get, you know, sticking my hands in into the guts of like routers and computers for a few years. And so basically, prime candidate for self-paced online learning, like I said there. Uh, yeah, I just I wanted to do more, and I didn't really feel like I had an avenue. Uh, and then I found this stuff and this wonderful space and these wonderful people and these wonderful tutorials. So, traditional coding tutorials, uh, not a comprehensive list, all you smart folks out here who went, ooh, what about this? Uh, free Code Camp, Code Academy, UW, uh, W3 Schools, stuff like this. Uh, typically, you start editing code early on. Um, you're mostly in their sandbox. So you're editing code, like, in the browser. They've already, like, if you need a library, they've preloaded it. Um, new concepts are introduced piecemeal, small bites. Um, so this, this is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's mostly a good thing, especially early on, because you're not getting overwhelmed. You're just plugging along. You can, you know, benchmark where you're at. Uh, individual lessons are goal oriented. Um, this is where we, this is where I show you that one. Um, free code camp, cat photo app. If, if you've done it, it's. Step one. All right. Uh, as you can see, there's your uh, there's your sandbox right up here. There's what it's going to make, and here's a specific lesson. Use a CSS class to style an element, uh, and it tells you how to do it. And then you can hit Control Enter, and I've already done that one. That's like farther back in my stuff, obviously. So I can hit the checkbox. Boom. You have just gamified coding. All right. Now we're going to go back to our thing here. Yay! And because I want to make it pretty, I do that. All right, now, the Odin Project, which is uh, a, it's broad rather than deep, even early on. They show you how to get a wealth of resources. Um, lol, what's a sandbox? It does not give you a sandbox. It instead uh, has you construct an IDE, um, a uh, development environment yourself. It's, it gives you tutorials. It hooks your uh, command line up to GitHub and Heroku if you follow their tutorial, so you are ready to go early on, but you're not coding yet until like step four or five as opposed to step one. Uh, they're not reinventing the wheel. If they have found someone who teaches something really well, they point you at that guy and say, go learn from them, then come back here, then go learn from this other guy. Um, they haven't found free code camp yet, and I want to kick them for it because it's really cool. But like they they send you out to, they send you out to documentation sites, to blogs, to videos. Um, those different uh, perspectives can fill in gaps. If you are one team or one educator building a tutorial, maybe you see things from one perspective. If you have an uh, if you're doing it as a video. Uh, you will emphasize certain things. If you're doing this just text, you'll emphasize other things maybe. But if they send you to um, all these different perspectives, then you're more likely to get a comprehensive picture. It teaches self-reliance, how to, like, it teaches you that there are blogs out there, that there are videos, and where to find them. Uh, they've curated a bunch of that stuff so that then you can go, oh, well, I have a problem that isn't covered in the tutorial I'm learning. Let me go look at this blog. They had really cool stuff. Uh, whereas a, um, a traditional tutorial will be very curated and will present you all the information you need, but it doesn't tell you where to go find more necessarily. Uh, it's not a uh, panacea. It offers less control over the curriculum to the educator. Um, it's broad rather than deep, even early on, both a strength and a weakness. Uh, what's an ID? Good question. You about to find out. You gonna learn today. Uh, Hope none of your users have ADHD, because this is like the TV tropes, 
for uh, it's like t the TV tropes for coding. You are like seven tabs in learning about parallax scrolling when all you wanted was how to make a hyperlink. All right, um, so we're going to show you a little bit. Uh, it's I, it's a really cute, very simple design. Here's my dashboard. Boom, and you have these various tracks. They actually did a redesign very recently, and so I had to go and learn that. But like one of their typical lessons is, um, say, Web Development 101. Basically, this is telling you very simple stuff, but it has learning outcomes. What you need to get out of this lesson, how you know you're done with this lesson, is you can answer these questions. So ve very self-paced. But it says, go to the uh, Code Academy HTML course and the CSS course. Fill in gaps, go to the HTML dog. Um, build an Android logo using just HTML and CSS. Uh, learn from uh, basic forms from this treehouse video. So it's sending you to like half a dozen different places. And then you decide when to hit that next lesson button, right? So super, super self-paced. Uh, you can spend all kinds of time on even one lesson. Um, oh, hey, I started my slideshow over. Let me explain. No, there's too much. Let me sum up. Um, most coding tutorials are, have tightly curated content, incremental introduction of the new. They're self-contained, and they start you coding early. Uh, Odin's meta approach is a wide range of sources. It front loads lots of information at you before you start coding. So if you're very curious about this or that, or you have a specific problem you're trying to solve, it does that. It helps you you know, figure out where to find the information outside of the tutorial itself. And it walks you through building your environment, which leads to not fragging your computer, theoretically. Um, oh, that keeps happening. Find me on GitHub, uh, my portfolio, which is also on GitHub. Um, and then like Twitter, I know, right? I'm getting one. All right, any questions? Yay. I think now it's Clayton's turn.